MCA President Datuk Sri Ong Ti Kiat reads out a press statement after a Central Committee meeting on Saturday. He also answered questions posed by reporters. By the MCA Central Committee today. So I'm going to read this in English and later on I'm going to switch to Mandarin. Now today, the MCA Central Committee deliberated on the decision of the Presidential Council made on the 26th of August in endorsing the advice recommended by the Disciplinary Board in respect of the disciplinary action taken against Datu Sri Dr. Chua Soi Lek. The Central Committee collectively resolves to suspend Dr. Chua for four years with effect from today and that his party post is also suspended. The Central Committee being the body conferred with the powers of the, Cent of the General Assembly is a platform for its members to express their independent views and opinions and at the same time be allowed to make the appropriate considered decision. The majority of the Central Committee members are elected by the Central Delegates. All decisions made are invariably bearing in mind the best interests of the party and the views of the Central Delegates, party members and the Chinese community at large. In dealing with any disciplinary action, whether or not there is an appeal or otherwise, the Central Committee has a power to review the Presidential Council's decision and make a final decision on the matter pursuant to the party constitution. Furthermore, there are precedents where the decisions of the Presidential Council have been reviewed. In addition to Dr. Chua's case, we have also dealt with several other disciplinary cases at today's meeting. The Central Committee, after due deliberation, resolves to reduce the sentence meted out by the disciplinary board and endorsed by the Presidential Council. So this is the uh, joint statement, uh, the uh, statement issued by the Central Committee collectively. No, in fact, the thing is, as I said earlier, now this has been in consonance with the party constitution, and uh, this is nothing new, irrespective of the personalities involved, whether you are the deputy, deputy president, central committee member, or ordinary members, we need to go through the due diligence. That, that explains why, now just now I did mention that it is necessary for us to refer back to the party constitution. And uh, at the same time, if I may elaborate that, now, the uh, grace period of 14 days upon receipt of letter issued by the sec gen, the Secretary General, uh, to the person, uh, to Dr. Chua in this case, now, that was granted in accordance with the party constitution. And the due date was, was 16 September. So today is 19. So we call for, we, we call for a meeting, the Central Committee meeting, uh, to be scheduled for today. No? It, it is not redundant. It has never been redundant because, because, because this case, as I said earlier, like many other cases, you still need to go through the due diligence. And uh, the EGM, of course, as I said earlier, remains intact, and uh, that would provide all central delegates an opportunity to make the decision. But the Central Committee, of course, has its role to play, and also at the same time has a platform to make the decision, to go through the cases brought before the entire committee.